What is up everyone? Andy Kruger here. Today's video, I'm going to show you a must play game with your dog. It's very basic. It promotes engagement, teamwork, the heel position, and your dog gets to play with a ball in a productive way. Let's do this. Yes. I'm here with a new board and train student, Mr. Max, German Shepherd, obviously. His ball drive is expert level 10. His obedience needs to catch up to that. So I'm gonna show you a basic exercise I've been doing with him for the ball to help promote that obedience and control. There it is, good, Boost. First thing you want to do is get your dog into basic position. That's dog trainer talk for heel. That means the dog on your left side with their head in line with your hips. Get your ball. Out. Seats. I'm going to put my dog in a sit. Seats. I'm going to reinforce with the leash. I'm going to drop the ball. Seats. He's in German. Here's your basic position. When your left hand reaches down, it should touch the top of the dog's head. Now here's the exercise. Foos. Yes. Boy. So you guys know how you'll train your dog like a look command where they look up at you and make eye contact, maybe for a treat or when you're out and about and there's a distraction, you tell them look. This is similar, but we're kicking it up a notch. You're gonna cup your hand and put it right underneath the dog's chin as if their head is on a little perch. Us. Seats. So I'm gonna get him in the sit first. Seats. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna come right next to him, leash in my right hand. Left hand. Just like that. Now, what you don't want is you just ripping your dog's head up and them resisting it the whole time. Their head, their chin should gently be resting on your hand, but you shouldn't be manhandling them around. Us. I want it up there. Yes. Bingo, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's a good boy. Ouch. Seats. Right in front of him. We're not throwing it. Short. This is basic. The further away the ball gets, the more advanced it becomes. So we're in a nice sit. Head in line with the hip. At first, you may need, <laughs> else, and be quick, seats. At first, you may need to really reach down there and go under the chin, but through repetitions, the dog should start offering the head up in anticipation for the release. Foos. Good boy. Yes. Nice work, buddy. And I'm looking for eye contact here, not just the head to be resting on my hand, but the dog kind of trying to stare down. I want this and I want this. Nice little game of tug. Us. Seats. Your dog needs a sit in some fashion. They need an out to some degree to execute this exercise. So here we go, basic position. Yes. Us. Seats. 
<laughs> Seats. The leash is your friend. Seats. There it is. Good. Foos. Now, if you guys try this at home and your dog is just thrashing their head away from your hand, there's a ton of pressure on the hand. It feels like a fight and it's not a smooth head going up, perch and then down. I highly recommend checking out my Patreon. It is a subscription based training website, but on that Patreon, I'm going to post a full training session using food on how to build this with the dog before you go to the ball. So if you try this with the ball and it's just a nightmare, you gotta teach it first with food, which I'll show you how to do. Patreon.com slash Andy Kruger if you want the full session. Else. In German, the heel commands Fuß. So here's the hand, ready? Good boy, Fuß. Yes. Yes. Seats. Good. Good foos. Yes. Us. Yes. So just a very light amount of pressure under the chin and the goal is for me to ultimately have my hand there and the dog come and place his head right on it and wait for as long as I want the dog to wait and in a few minutes I'm gonna pull out my dog a little bit more advanced with this technique so you can see a little bit more of how the progression goes now if anyone's wondering where I get my equipment canine culture collective on Instagram, not sponsored, not sponsored, just friends of mine. And I like their stuff quite a bit. You got to be on Instagram. You have to shoot them a direct message. There's no website. There's no store. I know, I know. Oh, you should get a website. You should get a store. They don't want to do any of that. This works great for them. Shoot them a direct message. Tell them Andy Kruger sent you, not because I'm going to get anything, but then they'll definitely respond. They get a lot of messages, they're busy. My favorite ball on a rope right here. By far my favorite, has the heavy duty, yet soft ball on there. And the best part is this custom handle that allows you to deliver this ball without the dog biting the rope or your hand. So this is definitely one of my favorite. Their patented slip lead. It's thin, it's very lightweight. The dog barely knows that it's on. This one's a nice bright yellow, kind of makes it look a little friendlier, but they have a bunch of other colors. So I like this for this exercise. And I like that it's nice and short. For this exercise, if the dog's more advanced, the ball can go farther, but this isn't about a retrieve. This is just about the dog grabbing the ball right in front of you and then turning and giving it right back to you. So we don't need a long leash for it. So this little slip is perfect. Now, if your dog is on a prong collar and you wanna do this on a prong or a flat collar, these little leashes right there, they got all the good stuff. All the cool kids have them at Canine Culture Collective on Instagram if you want some of this gear. All right, y'all, as promised, we got Big Fred out here. We're gonna show you, hopefully, what a more advanced dog looks like doing this. Done. Ready, up yay. 
assis, au pied. Yes. And if your dog's mouth is doing this, it's a good sign. Done. Ready, au pied. Yes. Push. So he's had quite a bit more practice, but you see the difference when that ball goes down, he's definitely looking at it like ball, ball, ball. But he knows the only way to get released to that ball is to come up, chin on the hand, and make the eye contact. So I'm not having to reach down and help him like day one, he's coming up and doing it on his own. Okay. Yes. Yes. On my Patreon site. I'm also going to show you a lot of different variations with this exercise. When the dog starts getting more advanced, how to bring the ball out a little bit, how to add movement, how to call your dog into the heel position and find that hand to continue to make it more and more challenging as your dog gets better and better. So if you're interested, patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. I will break it all down for you in a long, unedited video. <laughs> all right, y'all, that'll do it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me how your dog's doing with it. Have fun. Be patient. Happy training. We'll see you on the next video. <laughs>